Alright guys, so there's a reason why I can't attach my peak um, no right turn signal to the side of my peak light traffic light. And that's due to the fact that um, that I don't have the little metal piece that goes on the side to attach things into the side of traffic lights that Peak uses. Because Peak has like a little metal, 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 metal rectangular bracket that you need to attach to the side there. And then to attach it, you need to use that. And I can't put it on the bottom, bottom either because I don't have the right tool to get the, the, um, the bracket off. So I won't be able to do that, monster, I'm, I'm afraid. But I will show you the lights, both of them. So let's look at the pedestrian light first. Um, here's the pedestrian light. No, not the, not the pedestrian light. I haven't got the pedestrian light yet because it's not my birthday yet. That is the <clears throat> no right hand signal. So there's the light, and here is the inside. Yeah, it is inside a bit. So there's the inside. This is a 2010 traffic light, and that's how you know it's a 2010 traffic light. It was made on the 30th of September 2010. Mm. Right, so there is the inside of it, and here is the ball and ballast. The, ball. the ballast is in the ball actually. It's a pre heat ball. So we'll demonstrate for you real quick. In for you. There you go. Here's the ball itself. This is not the original ball, by the way, as it originally has a GE bulb in it. The GE is in preservation. And, yeah. I don't know if this thing was... was for a lesson from a lesson from new, but... Yeah. That is the lens. I need, to, I need to reattach the plug on this because the plug's not attached properly. But here is the plug. There you go. And here's the back of the back. There's the back of it. There's the peak logo. I'm guessing this traffic was actually attached on the side of a pole but due to the fact that the bracket is not facing back out like that, it's facing to the right. There's the back of it, there's the peak traffic, this one says peak traffic on the back of it, not peak, not just like the pedestrian signal does, it's a lot heavier. And this is a London traffic light because it does not have the white border. It does not, it does not even come with a white border. So this is a London spec peak traffic light. There's the logo back there. And there is the. I'll now show you the inside of the light. Tape's on because there's tape on it because 
um, the doors. I'll just swing open this. Anyways, that is the inside. The wall there. Read that little sticker there. In here somewhere's an Arduino. There's the Anyways, there's that for you. Put back there. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the plug. It's like a different plug to the protection signal, and yes, it's lost from a different seller. on top of this one and now we'll show you the sequence as it does <coughs> so here is the light itself it's, it's got a regular stealth visors on it as well for hoods so here's amber green amber red Let's bring on that. And green. There's the remote. There's a battery in there. Bit of foster cover. This is not a triple A, it's the same size as a triple A, it's slightly small, it's slightly slimmer than a triple A. Actually no, it's the same size as a triple A, but it's just shorter than the triple A. It's a GP battery, and it is an A battery, it's a 23A battery. A very small battery. And... off it turns all the lights on so there you go and but funny when i'm getting the siemens pedestrian signal i'll be getting it for my 20th birthday thanks for watching this video and peace